In this lesson, we're going to have two Nexus 5000 switches that we're going to connect a host to using both SAN A and SAN B methodology. So we're going to create two different fiber channel over Ethernet VLANs and two different fiber channel over Ethernet vSANs and start the initial setup for FCOE. So the first thing that we have to do is enable feature FCOE. The second thing that we'll need to do is create our vSAN. Third thing we'll need to do is create a VLAN that we're going to use for FCOE. The fourth thing we're going to have to do is repeat this on the other side using a different VLAN and vSAN. Once again, having SAN A and SAN B. Let's go ahead and get started on the switches. Here we are, logged into our first Nexus 5500. The first thing that we're going to do is go to Configure Terminal. So we can start to make our changes. The second thing that we need to do is turn on the FCOE feature set or the Fiber Channel feature set by typing Feature FCOE. Now when we press Enter, that goes ahead and installs all the features and functionality that we need to use fiber channel switching on this device. The next thing we want to do is create our vSAN that we're going to use on this switch. So we want to go to our vSAN database and we want to create vSAN 400. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and exit out. We also want to create a FCOE VLAN that mimics that vSAN. If we use the same numbers, it's easier to troubleshoot. So we'll go ahead and say VLAN 400. We'll go ahead and exit out of that. Now we're done with the SAN A side of the preparations. Let's go over to the second Nexus 5500 and do the same thing, but with VLAN and vSAN 500. Configure Terminal, Feature, FCOE, vSAN Database, vSAN 500, Exit, so those changes will take effect, VLAN 500 for our FCOE VLAN, we exit out, and we should be ready to continue with our fiber channel over Ethernet configurations. The one thing that we'll want to do for sure is copy run start to save our configurations. The reason that we created two separate vSANs is that the host needs to be able to tell them apart. We needed vSAN 400 on one side and vSAN 500 on the other side. So when the host takes a look at those, he knows that vSAN 400 is SAN A and vSAN or VLAN 500 is SAN B. Please join me for the next lesson, Configuring FCOE.